Oh shit. Welcome back, people. Hello. Oh, uh, it feels, <laughs> it feels like it's been a while. Oh yeah, nigga. That, yeah, that was <laughs> that was really nigga, flat. Who, nigga, who the fuck we got on the podcast? Clearly not a not a nigga <laughs> like. Yeah, that, <laughs> shit was, <laughs> that shit was mad dry, Mike. <laughs> Hello, are you here? <laughs> Is it me? Yo, you know what's real funny? I was actually about to be like with my interview, with my, my intro. I was about to do it, but I was like, no, wait, man, I'm on your podcast. I'm like, yeah, I do that. Yeah, let me nah, shut the fuck in, up. Bring it in, bro. <laughs> like, nah, it's, nah it's, bring it's that a energy. Weird feeling, isn't yeah, it, it yeah, is. It is. I'm, I've never been on somebody. This, you know what? I have act. This is the first time I've been on somebody else's podcast. No way. Oh, of course, it's us. Of course. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, sure. man, we it's only right because yes, the sir. first time I was on somebody else's podcast was your podcast. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Oh, really? So likewise. Yeah. yeah. What? Likewise. Yeah. So, yeah. what's your feeling? Well, yeah, I was like, whoa. I think for each of us, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So, scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. Yeah. Funny but, thing about my back. <laughs> <What? But> cherries. <laughs> <for> like, <laughs> cherries. But before we do continue, it's your mama's favorite podcast. It's the Physics Study Group. Oh, hashtag. Yeah. TPSG, been on like a week hiatus, I believe. We ain't right, been on right. no hiatus. Yeah. We right on time, baby. Uh, hey. Anyway, we have some, <laughs> <laughs> some technical difficulties. Marty McFly. The, Ka- the Kawhi Leonard <laughs> braises. <laughs> just, yeah. Boy, they fuck with your mind. <laughs> error, they, error, error. They ain't fuzzy, so they ain't, fuzzy, so they ain't quite quiet. Nah, they ain't Jim Jones yet. <laughs> <laughs> and it oh definitely God. ain't got the hang time. But you time. saw once Kawhi clean up his braids, he won a championship. It's in tune to your <laughs> No, <laughs> No, he won one with a... With, no, I, no, he yeah. lost that one with a dusty... With the no, dusty no, no, no. He, he won one with the dusty, but he's with the Spurs. This one he won by himself. Mm. Uh, he yeah. fine-tuned the Braves was, yeah. and went to Toronto and single-handedly. He wasn't by himself. Teams win championships. Who's the other player of the team? Um, I can't, exactly. I, 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 I was about to say no. DeMar DeRozan. I'm before like, we go any, Before we go <laughs> any further, as you can see, as you can hear, we have a very special guest. Try Kyle Lowry? Not so special, but okay. <laughs> A very uh, special guest, <laughs> an extremely podcast. special. No matter how much he downplays it, humble. Yes, from Mr. Uh, Jack of all trades uh, is the ace, ace of all trades. The ace of all trades. Ace of all trades. Get it right. AKA the master delegation. Uh, AKA uh, the walking icebreaker. Uh, AKA Mr. No Way But Up. Uh, but as we know. Oh. My nigga Marvu Bishop. Yes, Thanks sir. for being on, bro. I appreciate you guys, man. Word, thank you, word, thank you, word, thank you, thank you for the love, man. You almost broke my damn shit. My bad. <laughs> that, was, that was an appreciation, dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was all. Like, like, I was studying my happiness. I was, like, I was studying my Wing Chun before you know coming in here. Yeah, 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 man. I was watching too much It Man. The chi, bro. The chi. Yeah, the chi was flowing. Yeah, see, this is what happens when we got big old. Six eleven niggas coming yeah, on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, I gotta yeah, match yeah, that. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. I, I thought honestly that I was gonna ricochet. So I, I got thought you. I, had I feel to, you. I feel you. Oh, I'm so a whole foot I shorter. Got <laughs> I got you. Anyway. Anyway. Oh yeah, we didn't introduce. Oh yeah, we, not, we did not. That's crazy. That's how special the guest is. We didn't even introduce yeah. ourselves. He right? brought us on to our own TPSG. Wild, Wild as tangent. What? That was an early one. But anyway, you introduce yourself. It's your boy Jormatic, aka Black Galifianakis, aka Live Pack Trooper, aka. Damn. Oh yeah, the, it's yeah. All, you after just a burn out, dog. Yeah, after we, I love like, my AKAs. AKA, AKA, I got too many jobs. Don't AKA. you have like eight AKAs? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, you well, really who has AKA? AKA, I got eight AKAs. <laughs> Ultra AKAs. That's nine. <laughs> We, anyway. we we be forgetting and remembering AKs. Yeah, they, they come and go. They <laughs> we get them tatted, but like AKAs. <laughs> 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 I think we already got four, so I'm trying to. And this is Flocka Zulu, aka Nicodemus, aka Sir Black Sky the Third, aka Gary Indiana Jones, aka Pablo Escovich, aka. You're the one that has an eight. <laughs> Basically. AKA. No more AKA. Stop the violence. Mm. Rup, mm. rup. Talk, talk your shit. Word. And you know it's your boy. I seen black, aka <laughs> Black Dynamite, aka Way Bixby, aka Holy Pacaroches, aka Shabby Ranks. Broop, broop. Shabby Rap. Rankin, <laughs> aka, <laughs> <laughs> aka Always Been on Black, aka Brand New Braids, aka Tracy McBrady, aka. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're the one with 12. <laughs> no, I just came <laughs> up with that one. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this sounds like an episode of just. Tracy uh, McBrady, I like AKAs. that. Right? I like Thanks, it. I like man. it. I like it. I was like, these niggas going to like that. <laughs> AKA Swiss Army nigga. Hey. Swiss Army nigga. Mm-hmm. Swiss <laughs> oh, Army yeah, I forgot nigga. About mm-hmm. Swiss Army nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I forgot about mm-hmm. that. Yo, if you, if you haven't tuned in. the last note. 
Don't interrupt my note, nigga. <laughs> you stopped. <laughs> what the fuck are you <laughs> talking about? Nah, I paused. If you haven't what? tuned in, in we music, were... it's called a retard. <laughs> what? Oh, that's why I'm not in music. I'm trying to get trying to get Simmons plug right now, man. You're, yeah, but um, you're forgetting Samurai Black. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to interrupt you for no I know. reason. I just <laughs> want to appreciate you. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm shutting up. I'm not saying nothing. I mainly wanted to say, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had ulterior motives. You got to test the waters. <laughs> Are we good now? Okay, we got to calm down. Okay. <laughs> Word. Good. If you didn't check it out, we were down. on the Lab Podcast series last week. Episode just released today on YouTube, yes, hosted sir. by... Of course, Marvel Bishop. Yes, Thanks sir. again for having us on. Word. That was a great ep- like. We almost, we almost exactly. made this nigga fall out of the chair like. Yo, let me tell you something. That was actually um, <laughs> probably the most fun I ever had on the podcast. Honestly, no, for real, no, for real, for real, for real. Like, yeah, it was. A good I really time. do appreciate. Yeah, it. Yeah, it was a great time. And you actually kind of a- like really not kind of you guys actually really like kind of like opened me up and like pretty much like expounding on like you know. Just different levels and different like types of like you know fields when it comes to the podcast. True. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Like I definitely um do appreciate it. And and the viewers do too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. honestly, yo, listen, the Anybody one thing who, who, who you said it, right? You were like 50% serious, 50% laughter, right? Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, that yeah. just stays it stays in my head now. Yeah. So, yeah. No, no, no. So I appreciate right. it. Trust me. Hey, when, when, when you can people link up. Absolutely. It's always a good time. Yes, sir. You can't force that when yeah. it genuinely just happens. Yeah, definitely. Right. definitely. Yeah, exactly. but check out the Lab Podcast series on, you know, YouTube and IG right. with my man Shit, Marvel bro. Bishop. Yes, but, sir. Um, oh, boy, we got something to talk about. Let's mm. do it. Something a lot what of is? people don't want to discuss. Uh-oh. Certain things <laughs> a lot of people are, you know, split sides on. Mm-hmm. That could be a lot of stuff. It yeah. can be. So that, that's the word. We that's could the, be talking about politics. We could be talking about chicken. We could be we talking about a lot of stuff. Yeah. We talk about, about a lot of things. How you open your corn beef? <laughs> but the um <laughs> the common hey, denominator is, is thing, Twitter. Bro. All this shit is going down on Twitter. Okay, mm. like it's it's getting black to the Twitter point. or just Twitter. No, sorry, black Twitter because okay. you know they run everything. Cool. Yeah. Um, I can't wait <clears> to make enough money to completely leave corned beef alone. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I <I'll> never <laughs> leave corned beef alone. <laughs> it's really? not. It's a taste thing. When you cook it correct, I, I it's remember too salty. Uh, well, well, I you remember. Yeah, you're not wrong. That's why you don't add salt. When you yeah. taste the yeah. finest, that's why you put some cabbage, some rice, exactly. Right. Ske- Bell peppers, right. onion. Right. Word, that, that's... <laughs> <laughs> we all... <laughs> <laughs> what you say? <laughs> what up, producer? <laughs> Shout out, who kid? But, um, it was definitely... Yes, the like, I've, like, I've never seen a topic just escalate and go different directions, like, at the same time. Like, okay. Will you we just... went from... Yeah, you're killing me. You were, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. Impatient you niggas want to know. We went from talking about a very delicious... Popeye's chicken sandwich. Oh, mm-hmm. yes, we did. And then we got into shit like slavery. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, wait, what? No, I'm telling you, this is this is what I see. This is how topics I go. dropped off when they said them, them sandwiches were sold out at some Popeye's. <laughs> I didn't realize. They got signs up like, we're I didn't, sorry. I didn't realize how big the hype was. No, no, no. But I'm telling you, black Twitter blows up everything. Wait, for those of y'all who don't know. Popeyes has released a classic and a spicy chicken sandwich. Nigga, they and know. A spicy chicken. And they oh, are they know, trust me. the most delicious chicken sandwiches you've ever gotten in your life. What you mean? I haven't, I haven't tried it out yet. What Bruh. you mean if they know? I'll buy you one. Out, <laughs> Yo, you go after this? You never know. I, for what's you, up? Nigga, for you, you, I remember the, out there. I remember <laughs> the first time I had it, me and Flock of Zulus on the way um, to uh, Good Vibes. Mm. Shout out El Cool Blaze. Boom. And we oh, bought you, food. Yes, oh, you, oh, you, that's what you got. Yeah, I got the chicken sandwich. Yeah. And this was like two weeks before the hype mm. or whatever. Mm. So mm. I'm eating and I'm like, damn, this shit is good. But I'm driving on 95. I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm going to put it down. I'm going to eat. So okay. I reach there. And I did not go to the club till I finished that sandwich. Oh, yeah. I, re- no. I, I re- threw my fries in the garbage. Like, I ate half of them and it got caught. I'm like, fuck it, this chicken sandwich is enough. I didn't care what happened in the club after that. It was that like, it was. I was fine. You were I satisfied was like, okay. with life. I'm so, I was man. thinking about it all the time. Like, damn, that shit was good. That's what good food do to you, man. <laughs> Yo, listen, I'm, I'm, crazy. I'm still like low key, like terrified from like Popeyes, by the way. Terrified? Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you have a bad experience? No, I, it was a great experience, but I almost died. Come oh. on, y'all know about the damn biscuits? We talking about <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, the like, biscuits heavy, though. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, man. Look, like for almost real? did. Like yeah. I was by myself, forgetting in my place, and it, it was almost over. That's scary. No, that's it was fuck. almost over. Th- that's one of my no, biggest fears. That doesn't feel fighting worth for it. my fucking life. It's not worth <laughs> it after that. <laughs> no, bro. that's why my biggest fear. Like, 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 like an R, like an R Kelly freaking like no for real, dog. It was Damn. Done. <laughs> no, when I was like, fighting for my fucking <laughs> life. <laughs> not, not, not like this, Jesus. No, <laughs> that's I'm why fighting for my life. Kill me with this shit. Wow, that's, that's crazy. Oh, you brought no, it listen, back, man. Listen, like, so I mean, oh, no, long I got story short. <laughs> nah, but listen, long story short. <laughs> <laughs> like he just this shit up. Yo, Yo man. Bob got the whole studio on fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, hey, that's deadly. like that's like going to Disney World and getting beat up by Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible experience, dog. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what it is about Popeye's biscuits, but like, it's like when you like just eat it and you put it in your mouth, it just expands for no damn reason. Yeah, <laughs> like, 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 like for real. We got one of those little dinosaurs from the nineties. We got one of them. No, no, it's bad. Yo, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. No. But then here's the thing, though. But then I heard actually the trick. Uh-huh. The trick is is actually having <laughs> honey. Oh yeah, the honey is pretty much what you know. I wish I would known that beforehand. Yeah, I, eat the biscuits, I, I eat the biscuits. I always eat it with no. the honey. Hey, hey. <laughs> warning! I always hey. eat it with the. I got. I got to give yeah. that shit. Is okay. Okay. I'm about to be the buzzkill and about to give a quick PSA. Don't eat the honey from Popeyes. It's honey sauce. It got high fructose corn syrup in it. You're gonna die. Oh, I thought you but what does it? But what does it? Oh yeah, put your honey on there. Yeah, it's not pure honey. It's uh, like it's bullshit. High honey. fructose corn syrup is it. the first ingredient, mm-hmm. and then honey. Yeah, uh, true, true. Yeah, okay. and yo, you're at a fast food restaurant. What? Dog. <laughs> hey, look, we can still make healthier decisions, dog. y'all. For well, the, it's not gonna be fast. Dog, I can, you for, gotta for, choose one. <laughs> for the longest, I used to toss them biscuits, dog. Toss them. What? Toss them shit. Yeah, me and, too. And, and I, with, the, with the hype, people used to be like, oh, them biscuits. I'm like, where are them biscuits? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, real quick, real quick. Best biscuits ever. ever. Which one? Where? Popeyes? Oh, no, Red where? Lobster. Okay. You kidding? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, we're, oh. we're talking about actual best, best, okay. best No, he said ever. That ever, ever, yeah, Red Lobster. Yeah. Every yeah. place that sells day. food. Right. Red Lobster. Grandma yeah. house. Okay. No, no. Red Lobster. And you got to say it in the Riley voice. Not the cheddar biscuits. <laughs> oh, God. you wanted the no. cheddar biscuits, girl? Damn, granddad. granddad. They got these right oh, like, Okay, so please. But continue. anyway, <laughs> no, no, it, it's really causing turmoil. Like, first it started, I was like, yo, this shit is good. Mm-hmm. People were like, all right, let me go try it. Yo, y'all hype this shit, but it's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then niggas writing think pieces on it, and then politicians jumping in. I hate this shit. Wow. This, it always goes like that, though. And now and Joe then Biden it gets to the is point. Well, I, 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 no, I, I'm I, just making that shit. I guarantee you, before the next two weeks is out, Kamala Harris will be eating one in a video. That's very believable. Absolutely. Mm. That's probably already happened. No, no, no. A- absolutely. Yeah. There's already one with her eating this dry ass pork chop. <laughs> so she, she will Bro. take the chance on the. Was, was on the she quoting sandwich. DMX lyrics at the what? same time? Bro. <laughs> There's some good ass pork chop. <laughs> and then, like. That's a hard ass tap dance. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Well, she been doing it anyway. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're not gonna get too politically. Politically. Yeah. But we're talking about chicken, though, fried chicken. Nonetheless, <laughs> we're actually yeah. So None we might as well tap. But it, it really has. <laughs> <laughs> it really has like created like a little. And it, it, it is all because of black Twitter. And like BuzzFeed has, has, already has an article about it. Thought train's still going. Sorry, oh. BuzzFeed already has a, already has an article about it. Sorry. That song. Y'all, y'all be giving this man headaches, bro. I feel like. No, no, no. <laughs> the hell he gives us. <laughs> like, like, no, no, yeah, you should the, see the hell. <laughs> This is George Madden. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm still laughing at and We're talking about chicken fried chicken. Fried chicken. <laughs> Nonetheless. Yeah. All right. No, no, no. But it's just how it's exploded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's all I'm trying to, that's all the point I was trying to get across. That's all I'm trying to say. The other yeah. day, I bought a classic and a spicy. I believe you. At the same time. I believe you. It was a terrible idea. Mm-hmm. It was the best idea of my life. I'm lying. Yeah, but I wouldn't put it past you to yep, buy yep, two yep, of them yep, bitches. Yep, yep. Word. Well, you know, you know. To move on, because I feel like <laughs> we spent a little bit too much time nigging on this sandwich. <laughs> what else can you what, do on a like, fried chicken? Shit is delicious. How, how long can you talk about fried chicken t- until it's ignorant? Oh, for an know? hour. But <laughs> oh, until it's ignorant. Oh, <laughs> I thought but, you meant this period. It, let, <laughs> let, let, let's be real. It's hard to make fried chicken breasts juicy. 
Alright. We're, we're, we're well, don't you know, you, know you know that they cut out some of it so they can cook it better? Mm. They be True. you ever notice some of them breasts be kind of thin? Yeah. No, it's like because yeah. they get you. Yo, that is there Popeyes near here? Absolutely. Yeah, right right oh, it's okay. happening after right, this. No, they yeah, close yeah. We're going there. We're going there. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Chip yeah, bank account. We tried to get away from it and started talking about it again. It's an incredible sandwich. That's the name of this episode. That damn sandwich. No, we are not advertising for Popeyes. We're seeping into talking about fried chicken for an ignorant amount of time. So, yeah. To move on. Yes, Professor. Yes, Professor. To move on. Jay Z. Oh yeah, yeah, speaking of coons, you did mention whoa, the cooter. Whoa, 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 buddy. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> I see how y'all feel about it. Let's oh, talk. No, no, enlighten Let's me. Talk. No, no, enlighten me. Enlighten us on the situation first. Please. It's just a lot of contradictions and stuff even, about. Uh, let me speak. I can't let me speak. Myself, Allow man. me to. No, no, no. I, I was just kidding when I said the coon thing. I'm not gonna undermine all the things Jay Z has done. I'm, I'm not did. that ignorant. Mm. However, <laughs> it's just some some um, contradicting statements. Like for instance, him telling um Travis Scott not to perform at the Super Bowl and everything, and you know his big detest about the NFL. Now he's gonna he um he's coming in with the um what's the what's the program he's doing the social justice something. That he's doing with the NFL. I forgot the exact name of it. Mm. And people are like, how could you do that? How could you cut a deal with them? Da, da, da. On one hand, I understand. But on the other hand, they say, what if he gets a team? What if he brings in Colin Kaepernick? That's all yet to, see, um, yet to be seen. But at the moment, it's like 50-50 people are torn. Yeah. Because they're like, how can you say what you said about the NFL? Then, then go you know what I'm saying? If you are going to infiltrate... Make your intentions well. No, no, you can't make everyone happy. No, no, you're right. Sorry, I'm fucking unhappy, man. No, 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 you're right. See, you can't make his intentions known, but but at the same time, that's why you gotta be. You kind of have to. It's it's more that because I feel like he he knew part of his name was gonna be tarnished already in terms of like the backlash, and I feel like it's kind of he's got enough word like steak word. I feel like I. If it was, if it was a lot of different people, I would have been like, I'd have raised the eyebrow to it. Mm-hmm. But because it's Jay Z, and I've seen the work he's done within oh. this realm before, I feel like his in, his intentions are pure, and I, I I I trust him to, at at the most, if there's some bullshit going on, be a whistleblower for that bullshit. Like, hey, I was we was trying to do this. These niggas trying to do this. This is their mentality. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So. I I'm hopefully optimistic, but I feel I feel like this is a good move. It's of course it's a good move. It's a black businessman dealing mm-hmm. with the NFL, of course, who's did, known course. to have very specific views on his blackness mm-hmm. and his culture. But and it's also <clears throat> like what you're saying, like don't let your intentions known. Honestly, if there was anyone to do this, it should be Jay Z. Right. In my opinion, yeah, right. okay, and right. and right. and my whole life, I haven't been the biggest Jay Z fan growing up, mm-hmm. right. and but yeah, I, I would Black say that classic, yeah, it, and it's not a surprising move either. True, you can't make everybody happy, right? right? You're gonna have he, who else is gonna do it? True, the rest of y'all sitting here talking shit, right? <laughs> Marvel, yeah. how how you feel about that? Um, you know, at first, y'all. at first, I was, <laughs> I kind of had like a little bit of uh, the same view that you pretty much had. But when I really thought about it, you know, it's like for us to really um, get in mm-hmm. and basically to do what we pretty much need to do, we definitely need somebody of a high stature of a black man who is Jay Z. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Much do that. We'll do um, that. And honestly, um, there are different ways to pretty much to skin a cat. I think, honestly, this is like one of the ways to pretty much do it, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Um, it's sad to say, but, you know, for the most part, <sighs> fuck it. Like, honestly, we do <laughs> need, no, like we do in some some sort of way, like we do definitely need like, that white be. people basically to pretty much put us on. Now, I may sound like cool, sound like a coon saying it. No, see, no, no, no. But, see, there's a difference between being a coon and just speaking the truth. That's but that is how the it truth, is though. Because listen, okay. it's unfortunate, so, so, but that's so, how it is. So, so let me tell you, and this is personal experience for me mm. with the companies pretty much that I own right now and what I do. To be really, really honest with you, where I'm at today is is honestly is because of a white person. Mm. One day I met this guy pretty much when I used to work at 
a club. Basically, I'm not gonna say the name. And then I met him at an after hours spot, and he actually put me put me on. Okay. Honestly, mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's sad to say. Would I really think that a black man would put me on like that? Chances are probably not. Harder to find. It's harder. It's harder to find. I'm not there saying that the, it's, mm. it's not. It's not the case. Right. So, less so less listen. Less. So listen. Jay Z said it. Said it best. You need to pretty much know how to move in a room full of vultures. Mm-hmm. No, absolutely. Yep. And, and that's what I and, hope he's gonna and do. And this is literally one of the ways. Pretty much, I think he has. To, he he pretty much. You know, he has to do pretty much what he has to do. And you know, to get pretty much buddy buddy with them, and you know, to infiltrate how you said, mm-hmm. and to pretty much do the work. Now. This is probably the first time he's actually ever, I would say, overtly mm, mm-hmm. is doing something basically for the pretty much, you know, like the culture pretty much or like pretty much for, you know, for black people. I know that I he agree. does. I know that he does a lot of things behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things that him and Beyonce do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We don't even know. A list of you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But I really feel like to have a step forward basically for this country, basically, for social injustice, for police, for police brutality, and just to to get to honestly get these white people on our side, mm-hmm. I think that JC has to do. What he, I think this is the right move. For oh him. yes, mm-hmm. I agree. All right, when you break it down to that, that's true. Where right. and at the end of the day, when you think about the NFL, right? Because mm-hmm. I. I, for a long time, I was just like, "Yo, fuck the NFL." Yeah, you know what I'm I still don't watch the NFL. Honestly, it, it pains me. I mm. love, I love football. Yes, yeah, word, word, word. I stopped playing Madden. Word, damn, I haven't played yeah. Madden. No, yeah, no, no yeah. it sounds like whatever, but like it's like you know what I'm saying. But yeah. word, like, word. Word. you know, you know what I'm saying. You use your your consumership. You know what I'm saying to make yeah. a to make a statement. You know what I'm saying I'm not fucking with this, and a lot of people, that, you know, do the same, including myself. But um, at the end of the day. If the NFL was to just end tomorrow, mm-hmm. I feel like the people who f- would feel it the most are the players. Right. Which is Yeah, of course. It has lost a job. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Which is mostly our people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so, the people also, too, that also work for the stadiums as well, too. Let's, it, let's it, think true, about that. Right. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I didn't yeah. think about that. That's you true. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Those, those people, you know, employed. Because a lot of times... Most of the times, these stadiums are in the hood. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know what I'm true. Yeah. Oh yeah, in the true. Middle, yeah. You know Dolphins, saying? Miami Gardens. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. So like a lot of people they Carous are city employed. Carous Carous city, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is it is, is people from that area? So you know we got to think about them too. So yeah, if it was a close, that's who would feel it. You know what I'm saying? These these yeah. owners, they would just move their money to some other venture. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's that's popping. So I feel like. You know, for the best, it, it should continue. So I feel like him getting ownership, and I feel like that's have at the end of the day, that's what we wanted. We right? need mm-hmm. someone on the inside. Yeah, you're right. Now that we have I just, it, I just, comes, I just read an article that said he's not close to being the owner, but he's still doing that other deal. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. everyone. Like, it, it was like a, a, I don't know if it was false, we, but it's probably just you know. Yeah, we need embellished. somebody in the inside that's pretty much as as, as our do. skin color. Absolutely, because you understand something like. I mean, I don't know if this is going to happen when it comes to Jay-Z as well, too, but I don't know mm-hmm. if you know this, but like with Robert Kraft, Robert Kraft basically, you know, he did the whole thing with um, supporting Meek Mill, pretty much yeah. getting out of jail, whatever. Yeah. And, well, look what happened. Mm-hmm. He got caught up with some like whore, like freaking hooker Jupiter. sting. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know what I'm saying? Now, now, all of a sudden, after all these years, mm-hmm. you mean to tell me that now it's like... Mm-hmm. Keep talking. Yeah, like, you know, now all of a sudden, like, you know, like all of a sudden, you know... We now find about like these like hooker sting rings mm-hmm. and all that. Nah, man, because this dude pretty much was actually sitting right next to a black man and supporting him. Mm-hmm. So like mm-hmm. you know the, the older owners, older owners was like, nah, man, you know we're not gonna do that. So that's what I'm saying. It's it's yeah. it's, it's, it's it's um I'm really glad that we actually have somebody pretty much of our uh-huh. and from the hood too from mm-hmm. from Narcy. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying that we can pretty much kind of you know relate to to his struggle to what he pretty much went up to, mm-hmm. and now he's pretty much using his clout and his power exactly. for good. Word, word. I agree with that 100%. I under, you guys made very good points, and I don't disagree with them. I just understand. Next. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wants to fight. I can't with y'all. I understand. I can't with y'all. I think he wants to fight. Um, <laughs> on the other side, I feel him mm-hmm. because Jay Z, you know, he had a um, I forgot what the term is, but you know, he was loose mouthed and said, you know, we're past kneeling. He undermined it. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that hurt the people that were actually doing it, that mm-hmm. were actually mm-hmm. kneeling and costing themselves game checks, mm-hmm. causing themselves mm-hmm. careers. Mm-hmm. He just 
dash it under the rug. But in the way, I'm not done. And then <laughs> all these people attacking cop, um, Colin Kaepernick. Freddie Gibbs is one of my favorite rappers. He dropped one of the hottest albums this year. But he said, fuck Colin Kaepernick because he said he's not making moves and this, that, and the third. You don't know what moves um Colin made. He made moves early in the in the uh, process of this whole protest thing. Mm. And nobody remembers that until you bring up an article. He was like, oh, Colin Kaepernick doing shit? You didn't hear about him doing shit mm-hmm. because he's not Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. And usually the people that's complaining about him not doing shit is the people that's not doing shit. Right. That's another one. <laughs> yeah, like, like, that's another. And then right. Marcellus Wiley. Like, it's, it's like the amount of people turning on Colin Kaepernick is insane at this point. Word. This, this random niggas. Yeah. Marcellus Wiley had like an eight year NFL career, probably went to a Pro Bowl. Now he's on TV talking shit. Oh, and he of what said, said at the side to? of his fucking mouth that Colin Kaepernick can't really lead this charge because he didn't share the struggle because he's half white or he's raised by a white family. Oh. But because it, he, listen, because he's not. Oh my black. God. Nigga, because are you he's blaming not, this on Jay Z? Of course I'm blaming it on Jay Z. It's his influence. It's, it's, it's causing people to be irrational. I think people is are misunderstanding Jay Z's words. Jay Z is doing exactly what Jay Z always does. Oh no! Try I to didn't... try to level you niggas up. So he says, "All right, now that we've been kneeling, he's not saying kneeling is bad. He's saying we're past that. Mm. Ne- more needs to be done. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna infiltrate the fuck yep. out of this shit now. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel personally." All right, until right I see now, results. Right until now. I see results, I'll be on the other side. But, but then, until but then, then, but then, why? Here, we call here, it an thing. We have no results, and people are up, in an uproar. Exactly. You know no, saying? no, no like, because the initial move. That's how people are. Wasting they react. our breakfast. Mm. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, their microwave generation. The first thing is what they react to, and mm-hmm. what they put their heart into, and what they take at face value. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's unfo- it's, it's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. People don't read articles. People yeah. read titles. Right. And, and base the arguments on it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, do, do you guys feel like information is harmful sometimes? Absolutely. Ignorance is bliss, man. Ignorance. Absolutely. Ignorance but is bliss. That's knowing now. Oh, man, you, I'm not going to take not that You do not want to know everything. No, Nobody I'm saying wants to know everything. you shouldn't know everything. No. Because I feel like, you, all right. Inf- well, not inf- everything is, yeah, your inf- burden or your business. Information, wrong information from the, from a, from the wrong, all right. If you get only select information from mm-hmm. the wrong perspective, mm-hmm. you could use it to skew like hate. You could use mm-hmm. it to right. skew prejudice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Propaganda. Exactly. That's exactly what it Propaganda. is. They tell you a piece of the truth. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what caters to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, niggas be nigging, but they don't tell you that niggas be doing good shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or why niggas be nigging. Mm-hmm. Or why niggas be nigging. Niggas yeah. get pushed to nigging. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, that, that word. Hey. Like, you use it in a serious context, but the and word nigging just, itself is just You hilarious. just took it there, brother. Hey. No, you made a really good point with word. nigging, but it's a hilarious the, word. I'm sorry. Word. But the name of the you episode, pushing, the pushing niggas to nigging. <laughs> <laughs> or, is that, uh, or is that too much? That might be too black First and black. Fried too chicken. much. <laughs> Where? Where are we? And then no. niggas to niggas. From fried chicken oh to God. niggas niggas. <laughs> Marvel will never come back. It was like, yeah. never come here's the episode. This, this, ep- this, episode. Future, <laughs> this episode has clogged arteries. <laughs> <laughs> or the clogged arteries after this episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we go it's to not pop playing. Pop. What's wrong? <laughs> this oh, episode yeah. comes with a side of insulin. Warning. <laughs> oh, I got a question about I got a question for y'all. Do you think when, if and when Colin does come back, right, mm. is he kneeling again? It depends on where the protest is at at that time, I think. I guess you have to see where it's at. Like, if not much has changed, I wouldn't be surprised if people he would be pissed. If he went in there, if, if he, he kneels again, if he that would be awesome. Awesome. I love it. I uh, love that. Jam. He would have to play for like the widest team, other than the Patriots. Uh-huh. They're clearly the widest team in the NFL. Yeah. He'd have to play in the widest city, like. Green Bay, Milwaukee, that's yeah, pretty white, you. right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, yeah. after Aaron Rodgers leaves, they sign Colin Kaepernick. He goes to the coin toss, where's everybody? Yeah, Colin is back. Yeah. He goes to the fuck side. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, oh fuck no. You remember the Chappelle skin? Like, like no. bow. Oh, background. No. <laughs> Bro, that, it would be like the Bane scene in uh, Dark Knight. How good? That stadium would just boom, <laughs> like, laps, dog. I am the darkest. But will he do it? Why are they getting the Bane on point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but will he do it? <clears throat> But Maybe within his within his uh with, well within his uh settlement, 
We, well, we true. Do, that's we, true. We don't even know what's in the settlement right now. That's we true. have no idea what the mm-hmm. stipulations are, like, you know what I'm saying, the conditions, whatever. Mm-hmm. I really think that this NFL was like, yo, if you do come back, you better not fucking kneel or el- like for real I really t- a- a no for ass. real I really think it's like some type of like affidavit no, they, or gotta something. Sniper. No. they gotta have something like yeah, hey you look. cannot kneel cause I can't I mean I can't imagine him kneeling like that would be ridiculous like that no no he would be <laughs> the greatest <laughs> like, of all time he'd be the greatest black person ever yeah. in all respect to all yeah. the other great black yeah. people yeah. that would be yeah. but it's like yeah. damn this nigga but made it back up to the top this nigga collected the bag and then bowed but would he need to? Would he need to? That um, that's one a, y'all that's, were getting that's a, that. That, that's, 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 that's I'm sorry. A, I'm sorry if it was you. Would he need to? That, that's a that's a bigger. It's question. funny too because they actually, you know, a lot of people actually do think that him kneeling is actually way more respected, re, re, way more respectable than uh-huh. him actually sitting down. But the yeah. the like in the beginning, this yeah, dude sitting. would just say, yeah. "Fuck it, I'm sitting down, whatever." Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I think um, a, a veteran actually yeah, he was, was like, "Hey, the listen, Marine the best Corps. thing you can probably do yeah. is you know yeah. pretty much kneel." Mm-hmm. But then people right. are still pissed off pretty much about that. Right. I will say this though. Um, so I have like a really like a, a a great great friend of mine. I got a lot of friends, honestly, that's in the military and stuff like that. But I have one friend in particular, mm. and um, you know he's in ar- he was in the army, pretty much did three tours of friggin' Afghanistan. You know he did a lot of things. And to be really honest with you, is like when I kind of I try to look at it from different perspectives. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like for a person who is a veteran, I cannot. It doesn't matter who I am. If I am not a veteran, if I did not serve this country, I cannot tell you how to feel about mm. the American flag. Mm. The American flag to veterans is like it's on a, a whole, whole yeah, yeah, other like it's like a whole yeah. other level. Yeah. So it's like if they don't know how I feel, pretty much being how black, how how if they if if I if they can't know what it is pretty much to be a black man, and mm. I can't pretty much know how it is to pretty much serve the country, and I don't know how the flag is. You know what I'm saying? In respect to that, it's like, you know, I think that's a disconnect. Mm-hmm. I'd agree. Definitely. I'd agree with that. Definitely. Yeah. No, no, no. Because def- yeah. it's it's basically you can't just um dismiss the way, mm-hmm. you know, some anyone else's uh feelings on an issue, right? Mm-hmm. Like they mm-hmm. they feel how they feel about the flag because of said reasons you don't have experience with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the other way around. They fought the they fought for the country pretty yeah, much. The but at the same time, listen, yeah. but you know, when I st- when I step out and you're white, you do not understand what it is yeah. to be and a black person. Will. And you never right. will. Yeah. So it's kinda like, you know, yeah. Yeah. it's hard. It's that's well, a hard disconnect. But then yep. but then the thing is they made it about the about that when it was never about that. You know what I'm saying? They, they made it about Because the, the flag's a symbol. Where but then why is it because if this, the flag is supposed to symbolize America, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why why did the connection all, all why would the connection to the military be made? You know what well, I mean? Well, I, I could th- Okay, you can go. No, ahead. no, I could tell you. Yeah. It's it's um I mean, I I know why, but you it's, know it's just a part it's just a part of their um their complaints. Like they mm-hmm. try to guilt trip you and they take it to different levels like Word. he's literally kneeling to mm-hmm. bring attention to a black and brown people getting killed by police, police mm-hmm. brutality. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. all he was doing. And they hate him so much for it, mm-hmm. they would rather make up things mm-hmm. and be extremists with shit. Mm-hmm. Not your disrespect, your disrespect, your disrespect that disabled veteran over there for eight years, blah, blah, blah. Like, they do that to send you to a guilt trip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't work on people that understand that. You know, Word, strong yes. people also like, too, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. You can say, like, like, like yeah. I mean, some. That's why he never, res- um, I'm not saying he never responded, but. You know, responded and explained what he was doing. Like he didn't feed into that. They always try to. Well, some bring people it to just try to find like something that. to be upset about it's as deflection. well. Mm. It's definitely absolutely deflection. deflection. Like I'm gonna be like this flag represents everything that I believe. And I'm gonna disregard what it represents for you and why you're. And it's not like that. it's a violent protest. Yeah. It's as peaceful as it it's get. so peaceful. <laughs> and and then and like you, and like you said like, it, and like you said it was a suggestion uh, from the veteran. Exactly. He asked like, well, what would you think would be mm-hmm. a better way for mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. to peacefully protest, mm-hmm. Neil? You're still mm-hmm. showing to that veteran told him exactly. you're still showing respect to the flag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, cause think about it, like, if you really, really kind of like really depicted, you really trying to break it down, like. When we kneel, like what do we do? We kneel when we pray. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? We kneel when somebody gets hurt, like on the on the mm-hmm. on the football True. field. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like with that, it is a, a form of respect for mm-hmm. the person or for whatever pretty much you have a respect for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then, like when you kneel, it's not respectful. Like, it's, it's, it's no. Great. But I would say this though. I would say this real quick. Real quick, I would say this <laughs> real quick is that people do not understand the relationship between the NFL. And the military. Yeah, that's a whole oh, other conversation. Right? Yeah. Oh, what? I don't yeah, they they like, like they're like yeah. this. That's I mean. Oh, that, oh, oh, I thought yeah. you oh, okay. Yeah. That no, 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 I thought no, no, you no, no. meant I'm something. I'm talking about correspond in correspondence, correspondence with uh, with like Kaepernick, with Kaepernick mm-hmm. kneeling mm-hmm. and all that. Like, mm-hmm. and I honestly, I really think like when that happened, I really think what the NFL was like. I mean, NFL, the military was like, "Yo, NFL, what's up? Like, yeah. get this nigga out of here." <laughs> no, 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 for yeah. real. That's what I think. Uh, I mean, yeah. I never looked at it from that perspective, yeah. but that makes sense though. And the police department too. You guys, yeah. the NFL is tied to a lot yeah. of a lot of organizations. Fuck baseball. <laughs> NFL is the most popular sport in America. Mm. The world, of course, not. Yeah, it's mm. other football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but um, Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but, um <clears throat> ooh, big, big up my new too. You know, you don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <he> don't mean <laughs> no. that was for respect. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And, yeah, and then like, <laughs> and like the ta- the tax on Colin have just been like you know ridiculous oh, and mm-hmm. like unjustified. Like, you know he's still, you've been doing. You know he's still he's training. Little, you know he has like this documentary. I don't know if you guys know. It's pretty much X amount of days of him being out of a job. Like mm-hmm. you should really look up it like on, on social media. Like he comes oh, well. up with videos and stuff. And uh-huh. like, I mean, what it's been three years or four three? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, so it's like it's like it's like X amount of days from him being out of the NFL, and like he has them. He, I mean, so he looks good. He looks great. He's still yeah, he's working. Yo, know, he's literally working out five times a week, mm-hmm. getting up at freaking four thirty five a.m. Mm-hmm. and basically acting like he's about to get a job. Mm-hmm. So I he, hope I hope he does. Honestly. He was That's one player saying. away from having a Super Bowl ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know he's not I the mean, greatest quarterback. Ever. I mean, he's not the worst quarterback. I, not even ever. that, bro. I mean, which I don't even want to get into this, or whatever. But I mean, it, <laughs> oh, we can. Oh, we can. I right, find no, no, no. What you know? <laughs> <laughs> because it'll just be me. yeah, for real. <laughs> um, real quick, honestly, I really feel like the freaking 49ers was freaking sabotaged by the freaking Baltimore Ravens because they turned off the freaking. Remember, remember oh, when yeah. the lights were I off for too. like two hours? I bro, believe that too. So why couldn't they mess up both of them? Bam! You gotta understand something. The 49ers had a freaking run they had yeah. momentum they were they were killing me like they were they were doing it and yeah. all of a sudden all the lights shut off Doom. for like whatever for like an hour or so yeah and then the point hours were never the same Kaepernick was not the same after that mm-hmm. mm. no 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 you're not wrong like i'm trying you're not to, wrong yeah. you're right. not wrong wow i forgot about that yeah yeah that's crazy yeah people, people and who performed at that them. halftime mm. show mm. wait what beyonce beyonce, beyonce? No, nope. Beyonce wow. did. You can end the podcast right here. <laughs> but then oh, the Beehive about to come through. <laughs> oh no, I love Beyonce. There's no, no problem with Beyonce. But there's a connection. That's no. the point I'm making. <laughs> what? Tinfoil hat. <laughs> oh, <I did>. <laughs> yeah. The Colin pl- Kaepernick has had a job since Trump's been in office. The plot thickens. Correct. Wait. Or or or, or is, 2016. Is That's when we got in the arc- in, in inaugurated, right? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't 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 quote me on that. I will look it up. <laughs> but okay. if it is, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speak, yeah. So we just going. Speaking of that, I don't think that nigga remember when he got in the office. <laughs> he doesn't what? remember if he's at office. He still <laughs> think he's on NBC right, yo, so or talk about this. So Trump, you're fired. So Trump, <laughs> so Trump is having he's having dementia. Yeah. Well, so oh, there's signs. Yeah. So so. Oh, that's great. What, no, under, that's not great. That's not great. Wait, under, 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 him quicker. Under, under, Bro, under, you do not want to impeach Trump, dog. You don't? No. Are oh, you wait, crazy? Wait, 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 wait. Are you crazy? Who, who do you know who's place? behind that dude? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, dog. Yeah, listen, yeah, listen. Right, stay right, woke, right, dog. I'm right, trying to tell you. Right. Stay woke. Friggin', <laughs> right. who is it? Mike Pence? Yeah, yeah Mike no, Pence. That, uh, Mike Pence is yeah, a robot. Y'all talking worse. about freaking Trump being racist? No, Mike he's Pence, he literally hates black. Like, he is. Oh, no, no. There's no mystery. <laughs> like, yeah. Remember, he, he elected to have that shock therapy yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. Like, you, like y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all do not want that smoke. Word. Y'all do not want that Mike nah, Pence smoke. I'm sorry. The black. only thing he hurt word is word, more than black people is weed. Dog, nah, he, bro, oh, he's shit. one of them. The weed is going to send us all to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you go out there and smoke that smoke, devil's lettuce. Smoke on that no, reefer. He's crushing right. high school cheated on him with a black guy that smoked weed. Oh, right. that's probably. That's, oh, that, that explains everything. Yeah, that's oh, probably absolutely. exactly. 
That when is I get high at exactly office, what I'm gonna be vice president. Shut <laughs> your ass up. <laughs> Shut no. your dumb ass up and hit this weed, nigga. You just lost your girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as as Marvel mentioned, uh, and um, as Fucking Zulu mentioned, yeah, he has symptoms. I think he's suffering from it. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's signs. I think he's suffering from it. Suffering? He's, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I believe he's had it for a while and oh, he's yeah. suffering from it. Oh yeah, because people are pointing out like recent videos that's mm-hmm. coming out of him just talking, slurring his words, forgetting stuff, and he you has know, been a little bit slower. Though. Yeah, people, people are. <laughs> People are saying like who have like, you know, um, like so, some kind of experience or whatever with the disease, you know, can recognize the signs. So, mm. you know, not to downplay dementia because that's some serious some shit. Serious yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, wouldn't wish that on my worst, but no, wouldn't wish that. <laughs> on my worst <laughs> Quick question: Do y'all like um, use like Gillette deodorant? Gillette, no. Gillette. Or what kind of deodorant do you guys use? Degree, you know, I go. You know, I got. I, got the, I don't I know I, if I, degree ha- is it gel. No, I okay, think I it's the white. We got. Right listen, first of all, to pretty much prevent um, prevent dementia, uh-huh. you know, make sure you have deodorant basically that does not have aluminum in it. Yeah, which oh. is, yeah. So no antiperspirant. Yeah. Y'all about to be. But the crazy good. part about it is that the aluminum aluminum is basically actually the thing that actually holds the sweat. Right. Yeah. So it's uh, like uh, yeah. blocks your pores. Yeah. 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 It blocks the pores from letting right. the sweat out and shit. Yeah, so, so you like, have to be stank a lift. When you just stank a lift or like not remember yeah. that you stank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like, 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 no. That was a good one. <laughs> like, that was a good one. Like, that was a good one. Like, that was a good one. Like, that smelling so good. Damn. Yeah, now do you keep Damn. your mind Ooh. sharp? Do you then you go to the Ooh. kitchen. Damn. Ooh. It's you. Who are you? That's crazy though. I mean, how do y'all feel about Trump? I mean, all right. He was the oldest elected president or inaugurated president, correct? Mm-hmm. It, it's it's like, Wait, how, why give such what? Oh, okay, go go go, go ahead. I'm no, just, he, no, he asked me how I feel about Trump. Yeah, right? yeah, and I'm saying why give such a powerful job to such an older person? Like, but you would give it to Bernie though. No, I don't know. Oh, you we, wouldn't. Oh, no. yeah, yeah. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I don't, no. I don't know what kind of temperature we in right now. It My depends bad. on who no, no, running we, mate is. We'll, we'll have a politics talk later. Yeah. But no, I was on the Bernie train. I'm mm-hmm. not a no one's train now. I don't trust any I, of I, them. Listen, okay. So, like, so, I, I understand so, what all the one of them propose. But then you're a tinfoil hat nigga. So it's like. Yeah. No, no, not, not, for, not for everything. Not for mm-hmm. certain things. So for me, man, honestly, at the end of the day, I mean, this is how I feel. Left wing, right wing, same fucking bird. Oh, your mind just got blown. Same hey. fucking bird. Don't uh, don't let a left or a right no, 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 no for real. Whoa, left wing, right wing, same bird. Caca. <laughs> same bird. <laughs> no, for real. Same for real. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. In pretty much about tweet, that. tweet, motherfucker. Th- uh, that's why. That's why I said. I said I'm not on anyone's train. I just feel like none of them really have the best interest for my people. Right. Honestly, the Democrat the Democrats look nuts. Yeah, they look, <laughs> look <laughs> like nuts. They are. Nuts. Are you they kidding are. me, bro? That freaking that yeah, Democrat uh, Democratic uh, uh, debate uh, that was like two weeks ago. I yeah. think it was. No, that was uh, a popular show, bro. Holy big shit. time popular. No, you show. know yeah. what I feel like it is, dog. I feel like people feel like this is an opportunity to have that stamp on their career. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, 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 I ran against Trump. I like, fought the good fight. Like, now bro, put me in a movie. Like, bro, <laughs> don't play with America's future like that, dog. Like, all these fucking narcissists, like, after certain people, like, threw their hat in, like, after a while, I'm like, nigga, why, why are you even running, bro? Like, yeah, like, do you have any experience? You and this so is our problem like, now. You and so no experience. And, you and so-and-so <laughs> saying the same thing. So why are you even in opposition to that? Yeah, to what's the difference? Weakening yeah. both y'all chances to get this fuck ass out the out the mm-hmm. down. I think one of the ways, honestly, um, to really, really find out what candidate you guys want, mm. like definitely try to find out what their domestic mandate is and what mm. their international mandate is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just got to be thorough with it. Yeah. True, yeah. true. Who, so, who are you rocking with? Or if you have a, a person? <sighs> Man, I mean... I'm trying to think, Bernie's just fu- he's fucking crazy. He's, nuts. He's nuts. Mm. No, I, I I lost it with him when he was like, oh, he doesn't know he does not want reparations for black people. After yeah, that, I was, yeah. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, it was that was just like, it was cool. It was cool. Kid. It was cool that he had a plan or whatever to have like you know free that, school. Free, free school. Yeah. That was cool. But since he said that reparation shit, I was like, nah, I ain't nah, fucking with him no more. Um, you lost me. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Like I honestly, I really, really don't know. 
I, I, I have no no idea. Everybody's looking fucking crazy. <laughs> For real. You know what I'm saying? For real. Um, I blame social media. I, I think, I think, <laughs> but here's the thing, though. I, I think, people. I think, um, a lot of people just pretty much just like base like their opinions, especially when it comes to like Republicans and Trump and all that. Honestly, based all like emotional feelings other than like actually logical. Yeah, yeah. And that's why you can't argue with everyone. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, like it, it, it's ridiculous. Like you can never change your mind because yeah, they have an emotional attachment mm-hmm, to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Which I understand. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, like <laughs> Trump said this, and Trump said that, and you know, it, it's just I don't know. And just like but, nigga um, history, dog. Like he he's he's gotten. Oh, I thought you meant nigga history. No, no, I'm just Trump's history. Trump's history. Of, of, of racism. Um, oh, yeah. Of, of being just fraudulent. Of, mm. of, of <laughs> like, <laughs> of, like, pushing, to, like, it, like, un, it's pro- probably more than two instances, but I know of two instances where he's, like, been a, a, a main push for, like, black people to either be sent to prison or mm-hmm. face some, face some shit, like, putting ads in the paper, bringing back, to bring back the death penalty mm-hmm. because of, so, you know, certain yeah. shit, so, like, bro, no, it's, just, it's just a roach all around, bro. <laughs> all around. Yeah, yeah and he yeah. doesn't he doesn't seem fit for the job, and, like, people are just overlooking that. Right. Like, when you, back to Colin Kaepernick, when you talk about Colin yeah. Kaepernick, we say, get that son of a bitch off the field. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, president talks like? Yeah, no, I got is you. Is this a move? Is he, like, are you Harrison Ford? <laughs> Yo, That's first of all, here's the shit. thing. You talk about he's not fit, pretty much, to do the job, whatever. Like, I... How do these freaking like political people, whatever these like presidents, whatever, have all the damn energy in the world and they're like eighty years old? Right. Like right. for real, I look at like, first oh, of they all, get char- they have a, a USB. Yeah, plug in <laughs> <laughs> no, they have. And they, they go to bed right because like the I look at their freaking <laughs> schedule and stuff. It's like no, I can like Obama when he went obesity when he was on in presidency. <laughs> I call him obesity. I call him obesity. 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 No, obesity. obesity. Yeah, I call him obesity. obesity. Like you know, I'm like dog. Like just the schedule, man. I'm like yeah. I'm just getting tired just by looking at it. Word, or word. clones, but you know, I'm kidding. True, not that thing. Word, word. But man, we could we could go on for a while. Yeah, we could. But um, Marvel, what's up? So you are um like an entrepreneur. Yes, sir. Um, entrepreneur. Yeah. You 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 have a podcast. Yes, sir. You are you, you know doing different things. Like, mm-hmm. what's your schedule looking like? Ah, oh, man. My schedule, I probably work close to probably 15 to 16 hours a day, mm. give or take. Dang. Sometimes 18. It depends. Dang. You know, like I always have different things pretty much going on and all that. But um, like I said, like, you know, I feel like one of my names is the master delegation. And mm. that's what I pretty mm. much do best is mm. always to try to like, you know, delegate and try to put people in position of power mm. to try to pretty much, you know, do what they are pretty much, you know, are destined to be. Word so it's like. For me to pretty much have everything that I have right now, the only way I can do it is pretty much have great people at my side. Mm. Like with the podcast, with my concierge company, with my consulting company, with my production company. And I was like, I can't do it all by myself. And honestly, mm. the main reason why I created all of this, honestly, for the people, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Especially, you know, blacks, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. Um, it's it's not fun to just try to do it all by yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you're able to like put people, you know what I'm saying, with a new job and stuff like that, try to put food on their table, like, you know, it, it's 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 definitely a blessing. And that's the reason why I, I work so hard. Word, word, word. That's my why, honestly. Other than my family, other than, you know, my friends, mm-hmm. other than my, you know, my mother, my aunt, you know, my aunt that raised me pretty much. It's, it's really, really just, you know, just putting people on. Word, word. Yeah, I got you, and and I feel like that's the mentality everyone needs to have when they get in um, a position like yours. Yeah, because mm-hmm. not everybody gets you know into that position. Not everybody's able to you know maneuver how you do. Mm-hmm. But when you do, bring your people up. Yeah, word, you know what I'm word. saying. Like, of course, you know you have you know other issues or whatever. But yeah, word. you know, I know you're a big reader. How, yes. how important are books? You know, it's funny. I, I'm a big reader now. Mm. I wasn't mm. a big reader back then. I actually used, used to hate reading. I hated yeah. fucking reading, dog. Like, right, like right. for real. Like, just, I thought it was a waste of time. Mm. I thought it was just like, why am I just sitting in one place? I don't think I have ADD, mm. honestly. Mm. But like, I, I don't know. I guess I do because or I, <laughs> I don't know. Right, <laughs> like, right. um, just it's, it's it's really important, honestly, especially if you want to pretty much expound on different levels mm. of your consciousness, of mm, your right. intelligence, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it, it, it's really, really, really important. And not just, like, reading, like, 
you know, self-help books and like entrepreneur books. I, you can read pretty much anything. And mm-hmm. honestly, if if it's just anything that pretty much involves in reading, mm-hmm. it's great. Like for instance, I bought something, uh, what is it? Uh, a hundred, 1100. So one of the things I feel like one of the weaknesses I have mm-hmm. is that my, my, vocabula- my vocabulary is not as great as I want it to be. Mm-hmm. So it's not like I'm reading more books. I actually got a, um, a little, uh, Freaking, I think it's called a 1100 words that, that everybody needs to know. Mm. So every single mm, day, interesting. or every other day, pretty much, I just mm-hmm. pull it, pull out the freaking cards, and I just you know mm. pull out a word a day. Mm. Like, <laughs> do, so. do, do you try to blend it in the regular convo? Huh? <laughs> I did, but it, I failed so far. Keep trying. The reason I ask because I do it too. Sometimes yeah. I look yeah. at the dictionary mm-hmm. word of the day, but like. I think I this yeah. one. Yeah, exactly. Interpolate. Yeah, yeah. You can't do it around people you hang around, though. Mm-hmm. They, no, no, no. They go no, clown you. Do you, know, well, you learn a new word today? Well, well, yeah. well, 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 hold on, hold on. It's no, the pre- but if it's, but listen, if, the if, if, it's the, if it's the people that you can't hang around with, you can't do it, then that's the wrong people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're right. You're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we gonna that's the that wrong people. Right. You should be able Look to do anything. Look at you clowning on learning. What's wrong with you? You're a scholar yourself, you hypocrite. A scholar who? Of course I'm a scholar. What's your top... Top three books, like you know, or right now I should say, mm, the Bible. No, <laughs> it could be the Bible, whatever. Um, the Bible. Top three books. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> See, I read Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to, I want to say the Alchemist, but it's been so long since I've read it. Alchemist is, is a classic. Yeah, like, I I can't I can't honestly say every it. human being needs to read that book. Yeah, I can't <laughs> go read that. I can't honestly say it because I only vaguely I need to reread it. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I, I love fantasy novels. Okay, you know what I mean. I, and I just read um one. It's called um Children of Blood and Bone. It's um this this young um black author. Okay. Um, um and Plug. she's just amazing. Mm-hmm. Like, Plug that name. Word. Um, oh, yeah, it's, it. the book I, I, I forget the name, but the book is Ooh. called Children of Blood and Bone. Maybe he yeah. didn't read. And there's a there's another there's a sequel to it coming out. Um, I think December third. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm waiting on it, bro. I'm gonna nice, be, nice, I'm nice. gonna be dressed up in in, in Barnes and Noble. <laughs> <laughs> and in my and it turned it into a movie too. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, for a movie deal. deal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So oh, wow. Check big shout out, stars, man. Sorry we forgot your name, Queen, but big Word. shout out to you. Word. So, <laughs> growing up, I always loved like fantasy books, mm-hmm. right? But then, you know, reading them, you always hear the description of the hero, pale skin, long flowing hair. You know what I'm saying? They always describe Caucasian. Mm-hmm. And like, you you might get a character in there that's black, that's some kind of sub, sub character that's kind of cool, but mm-hmm. he's not really the main guy. Mm-hmm. Right. Bill, this book, the good guy is black, the bad guy is black, the people in between black, everybody black and it's beautiful. That's awesome. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. I definitely so, need to check that book out then. So that'll be something to read. Yes, yeah, sir. Children oh. of Blood. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. There's a there's a series <laughs> called the Inheritance Series. This thing is cool. Yeah, we talk it's about like loving it, bro. Shit. Bro, <laughs> bro, you open the oh. you open the realm, dog. I know this, this this should just remind what me. What kind of books that. do I like to read, you ask? <laughs> bro, <laughs> it's funny. Bro. It's funny you ask that. <laughs> to, this, to this to this day. Check out my roller. Greatest decks. series I ever read, dog. It's called the Inheritance Series. It's like okay. Aragon. Yeah, have you you remember the Aragon? Aragon, wow. The, you, you that still, dragon shit? Word. <laughs> that dragon shit. You, did you ever see that movie? No. Good. It Didn't. was terrible. <laughs> you know, the movie was shit. Yeah. But the books were amazing. Mm-hmm. So check those. I so said, I'm. You ever read Pen Dragon? No. That shit was raw. Uh-huh. It was. Just, it's basically this kid that ends up in the future, but mm-hmm. he's writing a journal like to himself in the past. It's wild. Mm-hmm. Anyway, just check it out. Oh, oh that actually does. Pen Dragon. Good. That was no, after I was good. trying to get a fix after reading Harry Word. Potter. Word. It Word. didn't work out. Nothing was good enough. Sounds like you did that before, bro. Word. Oh, <laughs> Word? Like Calm down, yeah. 19. It's, 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 it's just it's sounding poignant. It's just my, <laughs> it's my acoustics, the Word. instrumentation. You exactly. Know? <laughs> my whole body is an instrument. <laughs> Basically. Oh, and on the money shit, Think mm. and Grow Rich. The Napoleon oh, yeah, no. That, that's, yeah, that's I've heard yeah, that one. Yeah. That's, that's definitely a classic. Everybody's Word. saying to read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. That too. Yeah. That one, yeah. Think Grow Rich. Yeah, that too. There's a book called Switch on Your Brain. Out there, that's pretty dope. I thought you were gonna say there's a book called Swiss Army Niggas, <laughs> <laughs> but in your that um, much of an ad- so <laughs> in your industry, mm-hmm. do you feel like who you are like affects your work in any way? And not not your height, 
Oh, because I was about to be <laughs> <laughs> But the thing, I'm sure it does. But, you know, just being a black person moving throughout your industry, because I know you deal with a lot of, you mm-hmm. know, like high high end people basically. exactly high end people and um, other skin tones I, w- yes. I, would, I would i would say this yeah I, so in the club premise where i was working a lot it was it was a very cutthroat industry mm. very cutthroat where, I'm, where where i mean by that is that if you say something wrong to the wrong person mm. then like you pretty much done like, you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. it's like you know, I'm going back to what pretty much Jay Z said. What I said earlier, you know how to move in a room full of vultures. Like mm-hmm. I, that's always in my head. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's like you know, you're able to f- attract flies a lot better with honey than vinegar. Mm-hmm. So with my personality, I'm very cordial. I'm, I'm probably one of the most patient people you can probably meet. Honestly, oh. yeah, you guys. It's, a, it's a light skin thing, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, telling you. I first of all, you crazy. That must be a light you skin nuts. thing too. Like, you nuts. Hold the phone. You know better than anybody. Hold the phone. <laughs> Hold the mark. <laughs> nah, I'm teasing. Pretty um, but yeah, man. Um, that's, yeah. It's so your because, demeanor was different. Yeah, my demeanor, pretty much how, knowing how to talk to people. Mm-hmm. Um, my per- and, and honestly, like, I'm not trying to shit on, like, all freaking, like, you know, like, tall people. But usually mm-hmm. people who are, like, my size and my height or whatever, they don't really have, like, the intellect that I have. They're not able to, to be as personable mm-hmm. as I am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's just, it is what it is, you know? Yeah. Um, because, you know, they... I don't know. Like this is pretty much like, for me. You know, I feel like with my ability to connect with people, I'm very. Em- that's another thing. I'm v- extremely empathetic. Mm-hmm. Are you a Virgo? No, I'm a Sag. Oh, Sagittarius. Word. Oh, yeah. Well, you um, need Sag I've ever met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sagittarius can be very narcissistic. I know. Oh, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I trust me. But um, yeah. So because of that, honestly, you know, that definitely got me pretty much to where I'm at right now, and. In conjunction of me being 6'11", in conjunction of me being friggin', you know, 370, 380, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, pounds, by the way. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just, it was a um, a, a combination of, of me and, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, how I was able to pretty much, you know, get to where I'm at. With my I would pay money to see you like throw a nigga out the club jazz style. <laughs> well, listen, man, if, <laughs> if you were at the club pretty much when I was used to, yeah, I probably got into probably maybe over 50 fights. In and, that, in, and, and how in many that, years? Three not, years? I, can't, I can't say the okay. club. I'm not going to say the no, club. No, no, of course years. not. Of course yeah, not. Yeah, how long were you there? I was there for about maybe three or four years. Fifty fights, Damn. over, 50. over divided 50. by nine, carried yeah. it. Wait, that's a lot of fights. <laughs> yeah. Fights, or were you just like, no? Well, that, that too, a lot of those, but a lot of like fist to cuffs. And, um, oh, yeah. damn! Oh yeah, that's crazy. That's some, wild. Some of my dogs here got hands for yeah. for real. You know Lights and yeah, I, 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 I live with the crackers for a very, very long time. Yeah, yeah. you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be prepared in that line of business. No, absolutely, absolutely. Word. Well, like you said, uh, sorry, I'm about to say Jack. Ace of all spades. Or a Swiss Army nigga. Ace, <laughs> also, Ace right. of all trades. We need to start giving out Swiss Army nigga plaques. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it Jack of all trades? Yeah, but he changed Yeah, but he's an ace. He's oh, an ace. Yeah, that's, ah, that's, that's yeah. just my, my little True thing. Ace of, ah, you know, he changed yeah, yeah, He's going to question uh, it. I think like it's God. a black Hey, thing. wait. Have you, yeah. have, you, <laughs> <laughs> have you guys gave me uh, AKA yet? Oh, oh shoot! That did not happen in the last podcast. Yeah, okay. uh, I thought you right. were, were. you gonna guys give me a? AKA? Oh, I got one. Okay, oh, cool. Shit. There it goes. Here we go. Marvel Bishop, mm-hmm. aka mm-hmm. Cream Abdul Jabbar. Hey, gotta <laughs> leave right now. No, that's, that's, <laughs> like, like, can we end it? Okay, on that? I think Kareem, we should. Instead of Kareem, 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 Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. Word, 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 word. So, yes. Oh, that, was, that. that was pretty clean. Thanks, thanks, thanks. That was thanks. pretty clean. Word. Cream. Okay. I'm yes. We're going to end the podcast. Word. 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 On that note. Did you just make that up? Word. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is amazing. Yo, this is Look been, at your brain firing on all cylinders. This, this has been a fire episode. It's the hat. Yeah, man. No, but seriously, man, I really do appreciate you guys. Hey, thanks for being on. Real talk. Bringing me on to your podcast. Definitely would not be the last time. I hope not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Before we go, plug away. Uh, all right, so you guys can pretty much find me on Insta- on Instagram um, at Marvel Bishop. Um, what else? Uh, YouTube, Twitter. I think yeah, that's it. Pretty much. You got a high five. Hmm? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> a black planet. Didn't fly. Black oh yes, yes, and you can actually find um, 
my the Lab Podcast series and the No Way But Up podcast on YouTube as well. So and SoundCloud, True. respective names. True, boom, true, boom, true. boom, 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 boom. We're gonna tag it up. Hey, all so that. thank you for tuning in to our excellent black person we had on today. We he's Absolutely. an excellent black guest. Absolutely. And uh he's a black man. He's bling. An extra jokes yourself, man. Yeah. Extra deuce. Extra deuce. It's your boy. Oh, I thought he was gonna bring it back. Okay. No, you can go ahead. No, 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 no. no, no. I, I purposely do it so we can go off. Of oh, because I thought, I thought, okay. Yeah. okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. So it's your boy, so it's dramatic. Your boy. <laughs> 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 I was fucking with you. <laughs> this nigga here. <laughs> God. It's your boy Dramatic, aka Wavy McGrady, aka Wavy McG- Sorry, about to say Wavy McGrady twice. Wow. Aka Dr. aka Leftmina. <laughs> Malcolm <laughs> Vex. Malcolm Vex. Malcolm, Malcolm Vex. <laughs> and, and this is Flocka Zulu, aka Pablo Escovich, aka Gary Indiana Jones, aka Sir Black Star in the Third, aka Nigga Demons, aka No More, aka Stop the Light. It's your boy. I seen black, aka Black Dynamite, aka Always Bet on Black, aka Shabby Ranks, aka Wade Bixby, aka Samurai Black, what the? aka Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, hit him with the face, Swiss Army Nigga, hold the last note. <laughs> 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 my nigga Wu Tang just hit this bro. Hey, go check us out, SoundCloud, iTunes. Wait, YouTube. what? What you doing, dog? Wait, wait. Oh, he didn't go. Oh, you gotta, okay, okay. All right, my bad, my bad. Man. <laughs> and this is uh. Marvel Bishop, aka the Master Delegation, aka Mister No Way But Up, aka the Walking Icebreaker, aka Cream. Hey! hey. 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 Oh shit! Oh, I man. forgot Tracy McBrady. <laughs> 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 I got my Kawhi's in. Uh, oh, I got whoa, my Dwayne Wade struggle braids. <laughs>